Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. The Gospel reading for this third Sunday of Lent is from Luke chapter 13, verses 31 through 35. The same day there came certain of the Pharisees, saying unto him, Get thee out, and depart hence, for Herod will kill thee. And he said unto them, Go ye and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out devils, and I do cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets and stonest them that are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together as a hen doth gather her brood under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate, and verily I say unto you, Ye shall not see me until the time comes when ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus was not to be stopped. He had a mission, he had a calling, and he would not be deterred. He would see his death at the hands of Jerusalem, as had many prophets before him. That was his mission. He would die at the hand of sinners, for sinners. Yet, on the third day, he would rise from the dead. He would ascend into heaven where he reigns with mercy, with love, and with justice. During this Lenten season, and hopefully every day of our lives, we keep in mind that Jesus could have chosen to run. Yet he did not run from Herod, from Pilate, from anything. He stayed. And he received the punishment for the sins of all of God's children. He stayed that we might be gathered unto our Father in heaven. God, help us to stand firm in our faith and not run away from the call to enter into his peace, his grace, his kingdom. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen.